I just want to talk a little bit about a book that I have been reading or that I that I just recently found. I actually haven't read but maybe a few pages of it. It's called How to Create a Mind by Ray Kurzweil. And I'm guessing that it's talking, it's in the whole category of technology, science, futurism, futuristic thinking, and also the whole idea of the mind, the whole mind-brain phenomenon. And uh, I really think that we are about to experience, or we're, we're on the edge of a revolution that's going to happen. Okay, I think that, I mean, and yes, I'm sure most of you have already thought of this and already know way more about this whole area of knowledge than I do, but I think we are on this cutting edge and that our brains will be like computers in the sense that they can be upgraded and modified, that processing speed and that memory can be improved either through installations in our brains or through the ability to change aspects of our brains with synthetic parts. Um, I, I don't know. Okay, I really don't know, but I think that it's possible. But let's talk about this whole idea of mind and brain, okay? When I think of a brain, I think of this organ in my head. It's an apparatus that can actually, you know, perform all the duties of my body, all the functions of my body, maintain homeostasis, send all these messages throughout my body so that I, as an organism in total, can live and, and not only can can move and look around and, and have all these sensations, okay, T sight, touch, smell, uh, what are the other ones, hearing, taste, not only those, but I have the ability in my brain to think about the world around me. Think about ideas, be creative, come up with new ideas, to do mathematical computations and to learn new things, to, to have this memory where over time I build kind of this hierarchy of knowledge in my head. I have that ability too. And okay, so when we think about what is the mind, well, you've heard that old cliche about the mind is what the brain does. It's kind of like the processing of the brain. The mind is that. And so I think there is this class of people out there who still thinks that the mind, the mental phenomenon, the processing part, is irreducible. It's magical, it's mystical, it's something that we cannot quite understand all the way. Now true, we do not understand it remotely or, or all the way. We don't understand all the parts and, and how they interact and blah blah blah. But I don't think that, is, that it is entirely mystical and ethereal and something that we cannot tap into and understand to where I, I think we are able to synthesize a, a something like a mind and install that into a robot. Yeah, I think that we can. I think that we could potentially install that uh, into a robot. We could synthesize one. It does not have to be an organic brain that processes information. It can be more of a synthetic thing that processes information. And I think this will be awesome because it's going to level the playing field. Maybe, maybe not. But you know, have you ever noticed there's something called this bell curve? And that the vast majority of people are inside it, inside this big bubble thing. Hey, most of us are retards. Okay, maybe we're not retards, but you know, we're all kind of average IQ. We just understand the world. We have this certain limited 
uh, perspective and, and perception of the world around us. And our processing speed is just kind of average, just kind of sluggishly going along. And then our, our memory is also not so great. We don't retain everything we learn. In fact, I, I experience this with myself and also with people who have had a master's degree in some some area and then you ask them a question and they can't quite recall what they learned in that particular class that was related to their current career. And so of course they did go over it but they can't quite remember it. So memory. So anyway, so most of us are in this kind of, uh, you know, this uh, central area of the bell curve. We're not out here on the fringes and we're not brilliant and understand everything about the world. But maybe if we all could install some sort of uh, synthetic thing in our brain, upgrade our brain, something that would actually improve the processing and the memory of our minds, then all of us would be way over here. There would be no such thing as this big curve. Now, this raises some questions. Does everybody get to have access to these installable apparatuses, these uh, ways to upgrade our brain and our memory, our, our mind, our thinking? Or do only wealthy people get to have access to this? So there may still be a hierarchy or there may still be some disparities in the population as far as intelligence goes. But it's very interesting to think about how that could play into this whole thing. How wealthy people or people with more power, uh, people that are higher um, evolution, I mean, I don't know, people who just, uh, the more elite class could potentially have access to that more than the poor people. And maybe those people, the elite class could just dominate the poor class because they have access to mental prowess, I mean to these these devices, synthetic devices that help them understand the world better. They can make calculations like that. They're brilliant. They can think of new ideas and they can invent things because they have better memory, processing power, creativity, all of this. But then maybe do you think it's possible that if a person has more processing power and more memory that they could also, maybe their sense, their moralistic sense would be increased and they would be more empathic to other people and, and care about other people and the feelings of other people and they would have a more developed moral sense? and want to help society, and maybe it wouldn't just be all dog-eat-dog, -dog, but it would be more a peaceful world, because once our brains were, were functioning at their best capacity, or at the highest capacity, that we would also want to be more moral and help other people. Anyway, those are just some thoughts. Have a great rest of your night.